Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Yeah. <clears throat> Corinne asked me if I could please show her how to do a beaded um, pumpkin, okay? So, I did have this piece down there to start with, but I decided I'd draw it onto here instead because what I'm going to do, I'll make it easier if I do it like this, okay? So I have threaded two needles, right? I've got two needles, two bead needles with orange thread in them. And one I've got coming up one side of the pumpkin bottom and the other one I've got coming up the other side of the pumpkin bottom and I hope they're level, I think they are, okay? So I didn't even draw across here, that's the pumpkin bottom, okay? I drew around, I drew that bit, see? Okay. So now I've got some beads, I've got to decide what ones to use. I do like these really shiny, glowy ones, but then I do like these ones I've got sitting on the table here too, if you can see them, but um, these are, are pretty uh, good because they've got a, um, I don't know, they're probably all the same size. These are not bad. We'll have a, we'll try these first because they're a little bit, a little bit um, not the same size, if that's a, hang on a second, wait a minute, we might have some that are same he, he might these might be better those there okay we might try them instead i'll just push those up they'll have to go into bead soup now won't it that's terrible <laughs> it doesn't matter it doesn't matter okay i don't know let's get these ones i think these look pretty good okay so i've gone with the orange i can you could go with whatever color you want i mean there's lots of green pumpkins out there i don't think there's many Orangey colour, I don't know, but I'm going to do these. I like these. Yes, these are nice. Okay, and they're pretty much the same. I might just get a few more out after. They're pretty much the same size and, and that. Because sometimes when you do buy your beads, they're not exactly... Unless you pay a real lot of money for a tiny little bit of few. But anyway, I, I don't mind this. I'll do this this way. Okay. So now you want to thread on your beads. On one needle, take your one needle and you thread on your beads. Okay. Right. I hope this is working for you, me today, girls, because I really need to do this. It's a bit dull, but that's all. They're a bit dull. They're not shiny, shiny, but that's okay. And it will be three-dimensional. You watch and see what happens, I hope. <laughs> I'm measuring that along there to see how many I need to put on. And that'll probably be two more. I don't know. Two more beads. About right. And you just push that down there like so. Maybe take one off. You come off there, you. <laughs> too, sorry about this, but there's too many on. Just went straight went over the side bit a bit too far. Okay. So I'll push that back onto there. Off, I should say. Sorry, I meant I didn't want to lose me thread. So then you get this other piece of thread. Other needle, I should say. And you go down through these ones. Right. Make sure you go through every one of them. No, no, no going through the fabric at the moment, okay? So you've got that going on, okay? You've got that, right? Now, we're going to do the next row. Sorry about this. I'll, I need to get a drink of water. <laughs> um, maybe I can go through the back and come back up. Yeah, I think that'll hold a lot better. If I do that, so I'm going to go through the back and I'm going to come back up above it a bit because I want to put just a tiny bit there. So I have another put, I'm going out a little way over, so I'm going to put an extra, we'll have an extra bead on this bit, won't we? I'm going to find the right place to come through, be a good idea, Sonia. I'll be there in a minute. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so take this one down through the back as well. And then come back up. Through this, I hope this looks like a pumpkin when we're finished. So there'll be two extra beads on this because we need it to have the shape going out. So we've got two, four, six, eight, nine. So now we're going to put on 11. Okay. This is, I think this might be the easiest way that I have actually, 
figured out how to do it. There's other ways you can make them, but it just depends what your um, you know what you're looking for, and you want it. I think it needs to be against the thing instead of too high up on it. If you understand, two, f five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 so it needs to be it'll be raised because I'm going to, to do that with it but it's um, going to talk and work at the same time I've got, so instead of being a full salt, a full pumpkin we're just doing a, a half a pumpkin against the fabric okay so we're just doing a half a pumpkin <laughs> Right, so you get down there like that. Here's your next row, okay? Now, and it depends, you know, what we decide to do, whether we decide to do it like that or not. I don't know. We'll go for another one out, I think. We're we'll out for another one, so we'll come back up there. Go down, where's my other needle? Go down in the back. And come back up there. Right out. So that looks good. Now the thing is to see because it's got a blue behind it. If you can put something, actually putting the felt behind it might might have worked. If I'd have been a bit more, oh, well, I need to cut a bigger piece. Um, upside down anyway it wasn't supposed to go that way was it supposed to go this way I did have it stuck on there but I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to go with this for the time being okay and it doesn't look too bad it looks pretty good so far so good we'll look like pumpkin later ho hope <laughs> so we're going to do 13 this time You can make yours as big or as small as you like because you can if you do it this way hopefully it will work um two four six seven eight nine ten I'm trying to keep them as, as close to the same as i can Thirteen. I mean, I might not have picked up that one. Let's see how we go. Put it across there. I don't want it to come out too far. That's all right, isn't it? So, take this piece through here. <clears throat> this needle through here. I've got them all, I should have done. You'd be able to see the thread anyway um, if you didn't have it right. There we go. Go down in there and come up again a bit higher. Might have to put another row on, an extra couple of mine, I mean, to keep it all right, all snug. You, sorry about this, you get caught on that thing and come up through here again. Tiny way out, so I need to get some more of these beads out of here. I'm supposed to put that back in it too, I don't really not leave that out there. Okay. Fifteen. One, two, three, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten,
Okay, so that'll go across that one. Too many. I've got too many now. I'll take two of them off there. Don't know what I did, but I, don't think, I think that's wrong. <laughs> too many. So I'll just count them when I've finished and see how many I put in the next row because I'll be going straight up from now, I think. I'm not going to make it take it out further. It's got to go up for a while and then turn back in again. You know, for the pumpkin to have a bit of a shape to it. Okay. I forgot to go back the other way. <laughs> I thought, why have I got two pieces of... <laughs> Let me go back this way now. So just hold that up there like that so you can go back through. That's good. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen on there now. I don't know. Must have to leave it at that, I think, because it's now oh, for a couple more rows and then it's going to have to come back in again. Okay. So now I've got um, the wrong thing happening because I didn't go down in the back, did I? I'm just getting, ex am I excited and getting carried away? What's going on? Nobody panic. It's <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Oh, crikey. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, dear me, dear me, dear me. Go down in the back, Sonia, <laughs> of both of them, okay? Go down the back on both of these things here. Right, one, and then come back up a bit higher. Right, and then do the same with this one. Go down at the back, come back higher. I was just getting too carried away, wasn't I? Really, I just you know, can't believe it. <laughs> so in here, you've got a space. Look, see, you've got all that space in there. Now. <clears throat> I'm going to try and see if I can pat it out. I don't want to make a mess of it, but I'm going to have a go in a minute. <clears throat> Thread these back on here again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oops, eight, nine, ten. Yesterday I went up the shots. I told you that, didn't I? But I wanted, I bought, I got myself a, a what's the name pillow, a memory pillow for my for my bed um, because I've had a terrible time trying to get the right thing to sleep on. Go back through here like that, and um, now I'm going to have to do it shorter. I really think so because otherwise. I'm going to have to come in a bit. I might have to just ignore my little sketching there. Um, did I go down the back through this one yet? No. Did I do this one? Yeah, I did. I've gone through the back and I'm going to come up through there. Oh, and I had a really good sleep. A really good sleep. And then woke up this morning at half past six and thought, well, that's me. I want to get out of bed. <laughs> yeah, but now I'm tired. <laughs> it's not good. Anyway... So I just thought, well, that's, I've got to get up now, yeah, that's enough. Anyway, was, because I never really sleep any more than four or five hours a night anyway. And so I did a really good sleep. Might be a big pillow, so I was really pleased about that. I'm going to be a new mattress next week. I went and had a look for them yesterday. Only thing is, they're really high, and I don't know how I'm going to get on it, but I have to try and see what I, Jeremy's measured the one we're on now to see, you know, if we can... Just get one of something the same depth, but they're really high. So I can get into bed. <clears throat> I'm supposed to be coming in with it. Yes, I am a bit, but not much. Come on, Sonia, better do a bit more. Better do better than that. One more and see what that looks like. Righto. Not too bad. 
It's not too, too, not too bad. Put it through here first before you put anything down through the back. Put it through here. How I done that, but I stuck it all through that thing. So we've got them going like that again. Okay, very good. Now I definitely got to make them smaller. So let's put it, push it through the back there, right at that bead, and then we're going to have to come in a bit, bit of wriggle on with that, come in a bit further, aren't we? Right here. The pumpkin will be way too big, won't it? Well, I hope it looks out good, so. I'll have to show you something in a minute. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to get into the top, I reckon, don't you? You don't want it too much higher than that. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't think I want too many. I'll take one off and see what it looks like anyway. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit in one side from the other. It's not exactly the perfect shape thing, is it, really? It's not too bad. So we're going to come back down the centre of there. And in the middle of this. Now you, there's some really clever ladies doing these things on here. Like on my work and plus the, the Rachel's, um, it was Roxy, what's her name? She's, she's doing a lot of, there's some really clever people. And if I can show you the idea of this, and you can go and run away with it and try and do something, you know, use it as your in your way, whichever way you would like to do it, that'll be really good. I mean, I don't say that this is the best way to do this. It could be another heaps of ways, but we'll see what happens, eh, when I get to the, <laughs> the scary bit, okay? So now I'm going to put this so it only goes to there, and back so I've got to come up here this bit do you think okay well I'll just leave that a second because I want to put I want to show you how to do these now these curly things I actually started this one too so I hope you can just follow what I'm doing so you need to get a piece of wire, okay, and you need to run a little bit of glue along the end of it, right, and then you just start rolling around your cotton, okay, because you want to cover it with cotton because you're going to make these tendrils, tendrils, oh, that, you know these things, and you just spin it around like that, or you can turn it, um, it takes a, a minute to get the hang of this bit, but it's not hard to cover it. Look, it's just going really good, isn't it? Now, I must say, I did use a bit of glue stick along mine because I really wanted it to be um, into two, and I might cut it into two. Maybe I won't. But once you get that covered, which shouldn't take too long, if you glue it down, it'll be fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with gluing it on there. If you can't wrap it, if you can't spin it around like that, just roll it like this. But you need to cover it over really neatly, you know, you want the whole thing covered. You can get florist wire and it's got paper on it so that you, you could use that. This is just a piece of wire that I bought on a... Or maybe I had this one gifted to me. See, this is this is a thing the florist used too. Plus you can get all sorts. I showed you that the other one day when I was doing that beading and this is a gold one. You can get lots of different colours, white, whatever. But anyway, so that's what we want to make this out of. And I do want to have a... 
I might actually take it all the way across and um, we'll just do one row of beads halfway and see what happens. Make a little hole. Just make it so it comes up at the... I don't know if I've got it on the back of here. It's another piece of thread. It's not supposed to be there. <clears throat> I'll just show you what's going to happen if I do this way. And then you can put some leaves on. You can do your leaves in the in the manner of like that. If I, like I cop you can copy those. Oh, we'll go in with that tutorial. I think it was the last thing I did on the stump work one. Um, the next one I'm going to do a person. Okay, it'll be a person on the stump work thing for the next stump work piece. Uh, so we go back through there, these few. Here. Get out at the back. Where are you? Get out at the back. Now I want to take this one and come up there. This one's got to come up there too. Two, both of them out this way, okay, and then put some beads on that. Four. I oh, know. Yeah. Send these back through that one. Put these needle back through those four. This one. Right. Now I'm going to end these off because I'm, I'm I'm happy with that. I think that'll look good. So I'm just going to tie them together and try and make a knot with them. <laughs> Using both of them to make a knot on the back so it doesn't all fall undone. That won't be good. Will it? Oh, that's not good. That come unthreaded. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, we just do that again. <laughs> we just do that again. Oh dear, come on, sometime today. <laughs> Be really good. I'm, I've got myself into a tangle here. Look at me go. <laughs> oh my goodness me. There we go. Oh, nobody panic, please. <laughs> don't, don't lose all your bead needles there, Sonia. Come on. Okay. I hope you people <laughs> come over and look at this and not too disappointed with my, my teaching skills. Now, um, <clears throat> Kind of sort of pumpkin like, eh? Mm. Righto. So now I'm going to cut a hole in the back of this. I know. And then I'm going to sort of push push something in there, which I thought was going to be. I'm think I'm thinking while I'm doing this, and I'm thinking to myself now, if I put something white in there, like oh sugar, sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Um, if I put something white in there, like a, a piece of filling. You're going to be able to see it. It's going to come through the holes. So what I thought I would do, and on the chairs on the squeak, I'm sorry, it's on the squeak, um, is use something that I had here a while ago. Now this is a piece of um, curtain, but I'm going to cut it up a bit. I suppose I could do that with a felt. I had a better piece of stuff in here. What do I do with that? I had a better piece of it was like a, a chewy one and it would have been a bit stiffer to put it in there. I hope I'm not making this too complicated. You could put wool in there too, I suppose, couldn't you if you had some orange wool, son? Have you got orange wool? Um, maybe. I do. I have some bits of it here, look. 
don't know, maybe we could try and stuff it without with this. And that way, it would, this orange wall happens to be on a piece of variegated piece. So I don't have the option of getting a big piece, but I'll get some small bits off it. I don't want too much, do I? This, I was going to put the material in, but I think this might... Well, colour's not good, is it? I'm thinking this might look better. I don't know. What do you think? Enough in there? Yeah, that'll be plenty. Okay, so you cut a hole. <laughs> Carefully cut a hole in the back of your work here. Maybe we could use something else. Nobody panic now. Come on, just be careful. We're going to put this in there. Make um, get something here in a minute. Hang on. This. This will do it. This will make a hole. You don't hold too big. We're going to stitch it up after. We're not going to leave it holy. Okay. We just need to make a way of putting stuff in there. And hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't work well, you know, it'll have to go in the too hard basket, won't it? Now we get this. And we're going to push it in there. It might have been easier if I had to put that in there with a needle, but I don't think I can. So I've tipped out some water, but I didn't drink it. I wonder if I could use this to end a little paper. Oh, no, that was not strong enough. Need some. Oh, there. These old manky tweezers might work. Okay. Oh, it's coming out the front. <laughs> <laughs> that was clever okay now we can't say we haven't tr we've got to try a few things you know you can't sort of give up on the first first instance let's try this then let's see what this is going to work like I need something the same colour really don't I the beat okay well anyway I'm sure all you clever ladies out there can figure out a way to do this without <coughs> It all going too far wrong. Yeah. If I put it in there though, and just keep it in there as much as I can. See, I've done. <laughs> I, mean, I could just do it through this way anyway, couldn't I? Instead of trying to push it, force it through the back. Uh huh. I know. Yep. We can't say we haven't done that a bit. That's all right, isn't it? I can put a bit more in. Put some down the bottom here. <clears throat> But if I'm focusing it through from the back, you know, you could use, I don't know, any sort of coloured stuff that you had, couldn't you, really? Make it, I just didn't want you to, it to be too obvious, the colour of the thing behind it. You know, I'm trying to keep it, <clears throat> I might cut that bit off, I think there might be enough in there if we can just manoeuvre it around a bit. To the to the top, and I want it going up to the edge this, no, this way. <laughs> well, it's upside down. I mean, what can I say? It's upside down. Don't tell me that I've cut that, Sonia. You did, did you? You cut? Did you cut that piece of string? You're gonna have to put that through there again, aren't you? Now, oh, this might be a little bit high. Ah, uh, are you gonna pull it undone? Don't pull it undone. Where was that at? How did I come to do that? Well, I'm a bit careless, aren't I? Where's a piece of thread? Nobody panic, please. <laughs> Wore that word out here today, haven't I? We've got to get those a bit of green stuff on here too, yet, don't we? And your, flat, and your um, stems can be made the same as that thing down the bottom. The daffodil. You, you can make your leaves out of, sorry. Gotcha. Took a while. Nearly put it right through and then I've got no, though I didn't get much thread, did I? I just want to save these beads. I don't know what I'm thinking about doing that to them. 
When I tied it off, obviously I didn't do a very good job of that. Because here it is, he loose. Oh, I can't get that, I can't make a knot. Oh, crikey. <laughs> Okay, right, we've done that. So we've got to go through. Where are you? This one here. Fasten it back down. Better. Okay. Right, got it now. I'll get this one too while I'm at it. Fasten that back down. Push that under there. Okay. Well, I'm not too disappointed with that, except for this top bit that keeps popping out. But I can I can fix that. I want to put that piece down in there. I might just go back through this lot just to be safe. We do not want it falling off, do we? No, we don't. And while I'm on the back of here, I can stitch this up so it doesn't go anywhere. few stitches across the across it you don't want to cut too much out of that okay because otherwise you won't your padding won't be any good and now it's all fraying undone on me so I'm gonna to have to stop fiddling around with that because I'm pulling it apart now great ones on you let's put a bit of this on look there we go you can't beat a piece of a bit of glue it'll stay there now I hope so these pieces here that are t sticking out too much for me, I can just somehow disguise them as I go along here, okay? We're going to get them stuck in there somehow. Right, so now I'm going to put up that bit of curly piece that I made. <clears throat> and, but I need a little... Um, I wonder how long this has been. If it goes over, I'll just have to put the end bit onto... Then I'll, I'll add it the same day at the same time I will put it up there for you too okay so I need a piece of thread to make a stalk out of and I'm being naughty here and cutting this off a piece that I, I seriously need to fix where's my other bead needle I would have put them up there so I don't need that you lose them so I want to make a stalk first before I do anything else I'm just going to stitch that on there you can make your own um, I don't mean to be mean, but I won't be making the... Actually, I'll do it with this because it's already ready. I won't be making the um, leaf thing today because I just want to show you a few more bits after this. It's a couple of more ways to make the pumpkin, okay? There'll be three. Well, they're already done, but I'll show you pretty much anyway. I'll put this in behind here. If you can't do it with the beads... So you could also have that um, so that it's beaded. I mean, the beads don't the beads don't keep coming out. They should stay together snugly enough, I reckon. Or you can just sew them the other way as well if you wanted to do that. So I'm going to come up through the back. I'm going to do this stem thing. on the top of the pumpkin. I will do it like... I'll do a stem stitch. Okay. It can be stitched onto the bottom. You could do it with beads if you wanted to. Or not. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I've got myself all confused now. I don't know what to do with this. I'm just going to put it, some stitches up here. I do not need to necessarily need to be really long anyway, do we? Just need some stem stitches. Which are, which are a bit hard for me to do in this with this hoop, so I'm just doing 
straight stitch. I'm just doing a straight stitch pretty much then, aren't I? So, and then I can just fill that in. I don't want it pointy. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but you can fix that though, because you can do anything with a needle and thread if you try. <laughs> you can have a go at most things. I'm just going to keep going along here till I fill all this in. Some straight stitches. And a little bit of trouble with this top bit. But we're not going to worry about it too much. We're going to keep going until we get a lot more done to it first, and then we can we can fix it another day if we're not happy with it or stitch them together somehow. These panels, well, each one of them, are panels or strips, or whatever they are. <laughs> don't know what to call them anyway so there's me there's me that that's me little stem thing for the top of the pumpkin because then you could do a leaf if you wanted to now I'm going to end this off at the back here try not to play with that glue too much because that's all sticking everything up where's a piece of something I can stick on the top of that to stop it being stuck on everything piece of felt please Sonia where'd, where'd you put that you had a big piece there a while ago that's not it is this it here there we go look at that we'll put that over the top of there mm -hmm. keep it from sticking on me well it looks like a pumpkin doesn't it? <laughs> and it's beaded that was the main thing she wanted was a bead one and there's a bead one and then you're going to put this I think that's what she was after, how to beat it. And then you're going to put this on there too, which is way too big, isn't it, though, compared with the thing. So we can cut it. We do have the, the ability to do that. And I'm going to cut it and... <coughs> I should have pushed it through first, but I will uh, get the awl. Give me all And poke that through there. Try not to kill anything else on it. Make and push this in there, righto? Push it in so it's connected. Okay. I'm not sure if I like the colour. Anyway, it's probably too big too. So, but this is how we would do it if you wanted to make this thing. This curly bit. Where's, where's the needle? Oh dear. <laughs> Well, am I having a great time today? I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> I said I'm tired. <laughs> Probably shouldn't come on here doing this if you're too tired, Sonia. Goodness me. Going around here like this. And I didn't come here, so I hope that didn't come out there in that thing that I haven't even combed my hair. I haven't even combed my hair. So when you've got that, you've, you've probably got a longer stem, you know, and you've got this bit here. It's going through there, which I'm going to push under here for a minute. Just to hang on to it for you. So, so I really think I should. <laughs> I'll just show you this other way that I'm, I can show you how to do it another way. Look, really easy because that's tricky. <laughs> I suppose it is. Get a piece of thread, right? Okay, got a piece of thread on a piece of thing. I'll put a knot in it for if I need a knot. Make your daffodil. Don't do the center piece. Go around, pick up these. Uh, this is one that's going to be a really three-dimensional, though. You go around and pick up these ones. Oh, don't kill you. What have I done here? Never mind, it might be in, in part where I ended it off and it's pull, I've pulled it back out, so I'm going to have to thread that back down in there too in a minute. Goodness me, Sonia. I know. i got glue stuck to me. I've been in here since, oh, for so long it seems like, you know, when you get tired you can't help it, can you? When you're old and tired, what can I say? <laughs> and look at that. If you if you do that and then you make another thing for the top of it, I wasn't really going to fasten it off. you got a pumpkin there, look at that, see? Maybe you can squish him down a bit. He might need a bit in the centre of him, but he looks pumpkin-like to me, don't you think? There we go. Now look at this one. I'll show you. Right. 
Nobody panic. I'll be there in a second. I might have a drink of water. I mean, I'm moving stuff around in here all the time. Making a mess. I don't think I've ever put this up on here before. Right, there we go. That one's made with the needle weaving with the it's made with um detached buttonhole stitch. And we've taught you how to do that. Then we have corn, we have carrot, tomatoes, cauliflower, lots of fun. There, and onions. This is my piece that I did my husband in the garden, and that's across the top part there, and it was put into a magazine. Um, so I'll just get you have a little bit more of a look at that bit. Um, really big frame that's in, it's very heavy, so it's a big piece of work. I've got, um, took, a friend of mine took photos of it, we sent them away, and the person said, Can you please? do this to put in the magazine so I've been published I mean, a lot of you would have seen that before somewhere in here I should have put a mark on that shouldn't I in this uh, magazine oh sometime today <laughs> oh, you wouldn't have thought I had a mark on there I've got uh, here we go here it is Okay, so there's my, mm, this camera, it's me, not the camera, it's the person working it. So this is my piece of embroidery, because I did that in another one, and I sent them the photos, one magazine picked the other one out, and this magazine picked this one they want me to put in as my faithful gardener. Inspired by her husband potting around in the vegetable garden, Sonia Steptoe designed this delightful stump work embroidery. To, cel to celebrate a bumper harvest all year round. Now I did this a really long time ago, and there's a, there there is actually the things that I used in it. All right, this is a this is a <laughs> I don't know what do you call it. <laughs> it's just like a um, thing. You got we got all the this is all the things I used in it, right? And and that's not an exaggeration. Um, it's like a recipe, you know, you have your contents and then you do your work. So, and then I had to write all this out. They've taken these photos and put them in there. That There's that pumpkin there again. He's pretty cool, isn't he? But he's just made, he's actually put over the top of, actually, one of them I did a star, I did one over a styrofoam ball, part of a styrofoam ball once, but that could be a piece of felt or anything underneath there. And then I backstitched that, okay? Um... So the carrot and the corn, I love the corn. I think I did a really good job of that, even if I do say so myself. Um, anyway, so I did all these, right, and then so I had to write all this out, and it was hard because I did the piece of work first and then was asked to do the descriptions and things, you know, the recipe, and that was um, very tricky because I had to go back and find every colour everything that I used to make the things out of. So I had wooden beads for the onions, I had darning needles, large chenille needles, beading needles, tapestry needles, all the stuff that I needed and I did this and it took me a little while and I must say, I mean, my um, eldest daughter helped me a bit, she was only young at the time and she helped me sometimes find the colours and stuff like that. But it took me a long time to do and it cost, they gave me $200 and I thought, well, you know, that's it, not doing that again. <laughs> I didn't mind being published, I suppose, but I, you know, I just wasn't worth the money, I don't think. I just, I just didn't think that was worth that money, but it was a long time ago that I did it, so maybe it was, I don't know, but anyhow. So you make it, your thing like that, and there's your pumpkin, there's your pumpkin, Corinne. I hope you like that. I mean, I think it looks okay. I'm not is heartened by it. You could put the felt underneath it to start with if you wanted to do that and felt over the top of it. For some, you know, I thought it'd be easier, things wouldn't be getting caught and then you just cut the hole in the back and push it through to pat it. You can do this sort of thing as well. You can use that to make the the leaves out of that sort of style. I can um, put a, 
a link to this piece um, in the bottom if I remember it, but it's only like the last piece of stump work that I did. I don't know if I told you, but the next piece of stump work is going to be the pers the people, okay? I'll do the people, because I do like to do on the people, and I've got to thread that back down in there. Because I don't want that up there, and the top one's going to come out, and that won't be good, will it? But anyway, so thank you everybody for watching, and Corrine, for you <laughs> to t test, me, test me with this pumpkin thing, okay? I'll put him up there today. I know you asked me a while back, oh, well, today you put the video up with the that you asked me about it so I thought I'd do it today and um I've got to get that piece stuck down in there somehow I'll put I'll stitch it down maybe you could get a piece of thread and you could go up and you could go over and over and over and over and over and over each row of them if you wanted to and bring it down give it a bit more what's the name but there's one pumpkin and there's another one, sort of one <laughs> thank you everybody for watching and for, for Corinne, thank you so much for that. Very creative lady she is. I don't know. She should have been able to do that herself. <laughs> really. Um, <laughs> but you got to try. You got to try these things. You know, it's trial and error. I mean, I've never done one of those before, and I don't know if I did a really good job of it. But I don't know. It's not too bad. Okay. And you could do the carrot like that as well. Make it long if you wanted to do it in beads. I'd rather do it the other way personally. That's just my my personal preference. Okay, thank you everybody for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.